Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, figured I'd do a quick uh, video on this group of miniatures that I finished. They actually finished painting them. Um, come, they were completed on April 3rd. Um, I just didn't have any um, printing ink to print out the the paper for their for their little regimental booklet. Um, but I, I finally was able to get some of that, procure some of that, get some had some downtime. Uh, take taking a break from painting and I figured I'd throw up a video since I had um, I just posted some pictures um, but I haven't actually talked about this unit that I finished painting so I figured I'd uh, take some time to do it now uh, so it's uh, Prussian, Seven Years of War it's uh, the 1st Infantry Regiment the Von Winterfeld Regiment and uh, the interesting thing about the Prussians or at least uh, the Austrians on the Kronoskaff website have all of the uh, battlefield regiment or who was in charge of the regiment on the field uh, listed for the Austrians um, but they uh, don't have them listed for the Prussians uh, because back then even though you had the colonel of the regiment who was basically the the owner of the regiment they weren't actually the ones in charge of the regiment during an actual battle, they had a, a, a junior officer assigned to that task. So the Kronoskaff website has the Austrians listed for, for who was the officer in charge of the, you know, the actually in charge of the regiment. Prussians don't. So at least as far as the paperwork goes, the commander blank is blank until that information can be uh, discovered if it ever will be discovered someone did post a, a name one time i posted a question on the seven years of world war gaming um, facebook page and somebody posted a name but unfortunately i didn't save it and i lost track of it so uh for the nine time being uh the the colonel shall remain nameless but uh did a post uh, or video earlier uh about the X commands, and this was the officer I was working on. So that's him. Got him all based up and stuff like that. And uh, so that's the that's the regimental uh, officer colonel. And uh, <clears throat> here is the rest of the regiment. I've got the two battalions: first battalion, second battalion. Associated battalion guns. These are six pound guns. And uh, normally, most of the, the Prussians, especially at the beginning of the war, which is very broadly what I'm painting my units up as, is kind of early war stuff. Most of the Prussian regiments had three pound battalion guns and then a handful of six pound battalion guns. The comments and the books and the websites mention, you know, the ones that would get the six pound guns, if they got six pound guns at all, would be, you know, first line. You know, those regiments that were in the front were first line. Uh, this is a fairly senior regiment, fairly respected regiment, so I just gave them six pound guns. Um, I will probably change the tag, so here I got it, a you know, six pound gun for that specific regiment, but. I might change the tag just to be a generic, you know, Prussian battalion gun, six pounds, and then make a generic three pound guns and just have them interchangeable. <clears throat> Whereas the Austrians, the Austrians were all three pound guns. And so I've got those dedicated to each individual units. So I'm taking a better look at the guys here. Um, I've got them based up for the tricorn rules. Tricorn rules is seven years war, a set of seven years war rules that was originally written in 1973, and uh, I've been playing with the uh, the author of the rules with his gaming group uh, for about the last couple of years, year or two, year and a half. I don't really remember, but anyways. Um, so, uh, I enjoyed 
I've been enjoying those rules as we've been playing them. So I'm kind of inspired to paint them up. So the basic style is, <clears throat> even though the the author has kind of a living set of rules that he has that, that we play off of, and <clears throat> um, even his own miniatures don't necessarily conform to the basic, basic style that's actually in the in the rule book, it's, you know, it's not not that big of a deal. But I said, "What the heck? I'm starting from scratch. I'm going to paint some miniatures. I'm just going to I'm going to do it by the book." So that's why we have an officer back here, and then uh, two flags. So you've got the colonel colors, and then the you know the other colors, and then a drummer. And then a sergeant there. And uh, the 2nd Battalion just has the two regimental colored colors, but, the, you know, the orientation's kind of the same. So, um, very broadly, it's a 1 to 25 scale, so each miniature represents 25 guys. So this battalion represents approximately 600, 600 uh, man-sized battalion, which, I mean, it's it's close enough. You know, actual on campaign, they'd be less, obviously, than book strength, and, you know, even this is rounded off book strength, but it's close enough for miniature war gaming purposes. So, and then here we have the Grenadier Companies, and each battalion had one Grenadier company, and they were about 150 in size. But uh, as many are aware, the company, the Grenadier companies, were broken off from the parent regiment, and uh, they were consolidated with other Grenadier companies of, of other regiments. <clears throat> and they were actually, they weren't just a, a, a mishmash of Grenadier companies, they were actually semi-permanent battalions. So Grenadier companies of the 1st Regiment were paired with the Grenadier companies of the 23rd Regiment. So uh, that's actually what I'm painting in the process of working on now is... Uh, I'm working on the 23rd Regiment right now, and just uh, slowly making progress on them. I'm actually in the phase now where I'm painting the the hats and the and the gaiters and the cartridge boxes and and uh, the um, for whatever reason that's just a really tedious process. I don't I don't know why. Here we have battalion guns. I've got three battalion guns painted up. Originally, I was under the impression that the, the Grenadier battalions had uh, the battalion guns of their own, but doing the research and talking to some folks and getting information from their research, uh, they were uh, enlightened me to the fact that no Grenadier battalions actually didn't have assigned battalion guns. So that third battalion gun is going to be painted up for the next group of regiments that I, that I make. So, so that's that for now. <clears throat> so yeah, my, the process that I'm working on is, or the next project is the 23rd regiment. And then, um, not entirely sure what will be done after that. Um, I know I said I talked about painting some miniatures for my daughter. Um, I have a couple of miscellaneous projects to finish up on. Um, I've got this seven years old project to work on too. And eh, I might even get to the point where I'm kind of going back and forth between different, different projects, paint a little bit of this one, then a little bit of that one and so forth. But as far as the seven years war stuff goes, so I've got this regiment, I've got the, the 23rd regiment that's in, in process of being painted right now. And then after I'm done painting that regiment, then the initial allotment that I had for um, this project for the inventory is complete. I still have cavalry, so I've got enough cavalry to do 
uh, entire regiment for the um, Prussian cuirassiers and also the Austrian cuirassiers, kind of in the same um, 1 to 25 ratio. So I'm going to have uh, five squadrons of four stands of of a cavalry regiment or of Prussian cavalry, and then the Austrians will have six squadrons of three stands, um, and then a two stand carabiner uh, company. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm painting. I'm painting big picture. So when I when I miniature these, I'm going to have the whole whole regiment of cavalry, or the whole regiment of the of infantry on the table, as opposed to you know, scaling it down because it's 15 millimeter and it looks pretty cool. And I've got enough room in the basement that I can throw up a six by 12 table. Um, I can, I can play that. So, uh, yeah, so that's the latest on that. This is the update for my seven years old painting. It's late. I apologize for that. I haven't been doing a lot of posting or painting or anything like that just because, uh, the new job I've got, which I'm still, uh, lucky enough, knocking wood to still be doing, um, just in training still. So, um, and I get, I go back to continue the training next week or the end of next week. So I'll be, I'll be gone for another month, uh, doing that. And then after that, um, we'll see what happens after that. <clears throat> so, uh, but yeah, as far as the rules, cause I know, Sure, some some people have asked before, and I, I mentioned tricorn. So here's the, this is the rule book. Um, see if I can find the find the publication date. They originally published in '73, and uh, this print edition I think is like the second print. Oh yeah, '77. So it's the second printing or whatever. <clears throat> So yeah, I would like to at some point do a, you know, maybe like a short, not necessarily a playthrough, but like a, a review of the set of rules. I really enjoy them. They're fun. Um, I think they give a really nice, something about the feel of the rules to me really fits what I imagine the Seven Years War period to be. So um, it's a great, great set of rules for this period. But anyways, I'm, I'm rambling now getting to the point where I'm just blabbering on. So I'll go ahead and bring it to a close. Hope everybody's uh, staying safe and uh, staying healthy and getting all their hobby on. And we will talk to you the next time, and happy gaming.